U.S. Navy's Naval Air Systems Command has confirmed the news that for the first time in flight, the twin-engine attack helicopter AH-1Z Viper, originally built by Bell and currently operated by United States Marine Corps, established a two-way connection between a ground station and the aircraft's Link-16 and advanced networking wideband waveform ANW2 systems. A new capability for the H1 platform, the digital interoperability suite includes Link 16 and ANW2 data links, a gateway to share information across various networks. Additionally, the suite includes a new digital moving map, enabling the H1 platform to display information from these data links to a common display. The DI suite also modernizes how data is located to and from the H1 platform. Colonel Vesilos Papas, USMC H-1 Light Attack Helicopter Program Office, PMA-276 Program Manager said, The H-1 has decades of battlefield experience. It has evolved to fight in numerous environments. The integration of these data links aligns with the platform's ability to adapt to ever-changing threat and meet the needs of current and future warfighters, he added. Link 16 and ANW2 enables the AH-1Z to rapidly share information with other weapon systems, provide greater situational awareness, accelerate the kill chain, and enhance survivability to outmaneuver and defeat the threat across a range of military operations. During the one-hour flight conducted by Air Test and Evaluation Squadron HX-21 pilots, successfully communicated with a multi-band network manpack radio, the PRC-117G, and the Mobile System Integration Lab, a ground station designed by Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division, to validate the suite's connection with the aircraft. The flight was a success and went exactly as expected, said USMC Captain Jason Grimes the first flight pilot and H-1 project officer with the HX-21. There is still work to be done before fleet integration, but it was a step in the right direction in getting a much-needed capability to the HMLA Marine Light Attack Helicopter Squadrons. The DI suite includes a new radio processor and mission computer software to integrate the information from this new data link onto a new digital map interface. This capability enables the AH-1Z to directly exchange critical data with other Marine Corps and Navy aviation and shipboard systems. Led by PMA-276, the effort was a collaboration of PMA-276 avionics integration product team, numerous government and industry partners including Northrop Groupman, Bell, Cranes, Tech Solution, NAVCAD, Naval Air Warfare Center Weapon Division, J.F. Taylor and Booz Allen Hamilton. Flight test on the AH-1Z will continue through the summer, with initial fleet integration expected in 2022. In addition, the program is working with industry and HX-21 to flight test on the UH-1 by Venom later this spring. PMA-276 manages the cradle to pro PMA-276 manages the cradle to grow procurement, development, support, fielding, and disposal of the Marine Corps rotary wing close air support, anti-armor, armored escort, armored visual reconnaissance, and fire support program systems. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind. Bande Matram.